In this morning's Health Watch, good news in the fight against cancer. A new report is saying that death rates fell more than 1% and a half per year between 2001 and 2006. That means that thousands of cancer patients are living longer. And here to talk about why is our Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. This is something that the American Cancer Society and the National Cancer Institute put out every year. Right. Let's try to help people put it into layman's terms. Between 2001 and 2006, how many fewer people either died of cancer or were diagnosed so with cancer? So they looked at two things, Maggie. They looked at the death rate from cancer, which dropped, just as you said, over 1.6% per year. And then they looked at the new cases diagnosed. So this is how common cancer is in our community, and it fell just under 1% per year. This number might sound confusing. Yeah, what does that this mean? This translates to over 9,000 fewer cases, fewer people diagnosed of cancer every Every year over that five-year period so this is significant it's very good news is it surprising news Actually, we've been seeing slowly the cancer rates, both diagnosis and death rates, going down over the last you know, few years. But again, we want to see that trend continue. And even though these numbers look small, again, you're talking about real numbers here, real lives. Do they attribute it to anything in particular? In general, things like prevention, better lifestyle. We know that about a third of cancers are behaviorally related, things like diet and exercise, but also better screening and better treatment. The report also showed, though, that certain types of cancer are still on the rise, right? right. So let's look at the ones that are increasing for men and women, things like kidney or renal cancer, liver cancer, esophageal cancer in men, all increasing. And for women, lung, thyroid, and pancreatic cancer. And we should mention here, Maggie, not all of these lung cancers in women are smoking related. Mm. People who have never smoked are also getting lung cancer and they're dying from it. So that's a big area in the future. I thought it was interesting that the report looked specifically at colorectal cancer and found that overall it's declining, but not in young people. Exactly. Why so is that? good news, bad news. In, in people over the age of 50, colorectal rectal cancer trends are improving. Under the age of 50, they're actually increasing. And part of the thinking in that age group is that those people are not getting screening colonoscopies, which can detect the precancerous colon lesions, things like polyps. That makes things in terms of prevention, like diet and exercise, especially when you're talking about colorectal cancer, even more important. Bottom line here, Maggie, the good news is the rates are improving. The bad news is we still have a lot of work to do. And prevention, prevention, prevention Prevention, is the key. screening, and better treatment. That's the key when you're talking about cancer. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, you thank bet. you.